features like 720p HD video, two-way audio, quick and easy setup, P2P remote access and more. In the package, you'll find the IP camera and the essential accessories needed to get it installed, like the power adapter, screws, USB cable, mounting base, user manual, etc. Please note that the components shown on the video are just for your reference. Now let's take a look at the camera. On top of the camera you see a TF card slot, and the reset button, 720p HD lens, and the mic. On the back, you'll find the speaker and the USB power in port. To set up the camera, first you have to get it powered. Plug one end of the USB cable to the coming power adapter, the other end goes to the USB port on the back of the camera. And then, plug the power adapter in any socket. When it is powered, the camera head will spin horizontally and then vertically for self-checking. In the meantime, the voice prompts, Welcome to use, please connect. If you don't hear the voice, please long press the reset button for 5 seconds to restore to factory settings. After hearing, successful reset, the camera will restart the self-checking process. Wait a few seconds until the self-checking is done. To get remote access on your mobile devices, you need to download the free viewing app on App Store or Google Play. This video takes the Android phone as an example. Search SanseCam on Google Play to download and install it on your phone. Once done, open the app and click on Add Device to add the IP camera to it. Select Wireless Configuration Wi-Fi and then Camera. Click on Next. Check on the Wi-Fi name and input password. Note, the Wi-Fi frequency should be 2.4 GHz. Then click on Start Configuration. Move your phone closer to the camera, then a voice will prompt, Connecting Start. Wait a few seconds while it is configuring. Once done, it will prompt, Connecting Successful. If the camera and your phone are not connected successfully, please reset your camera and follow the steps again. Now, the camera you just added will be presented on the screen. Click on the camera and click on Done to save its ID. When the camera is successfully configured for the first time, you can see a red exclamation point symbol on the screen, which reminds you to change the default username and password. We recommend you to change it for the sake of protecting your privacy. Now you can watch the live video. Click on the camera you added to view real-time footage. And on the bottom right corner of the live monitoring interface, you can see the three-dot icon. Click on it to show the edit icons on both the top and bottom of the screen. Here you can adjust the video resolution. The video resolution is HD by default. Slide your finger on the screen to control the movements of the camera. You know, right, left, up and down. There are also 